Hey there, fellow white shavers, Brian here the White Shave Experience. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been around for a while, thanks for the continued support. If you're not a subscriber yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. And if you like anything you see here, hit that thumbs up button. All right, so for today's shave, you may have seen from the thumbnail, we are using the Razor Company's Serendipity as a soap. We have the matching splash. For a razor, we are using the Parker Solo Edge. This is a two-piece razor. It is a half DE single edge razor. Uh, we are all lathered up in the bowl here. Uh, for a brush, I have this old Smiles for Miles synthetic brush. Uh, I don't know what the knot, synthetic knot in it. It's an okay knot, works. It's the only thing kind of matchy-matchy from a uh, brush handle that I had was close to the color of the set, so I chose to go with that. All right, let's uh, talk for a second about the razor um, so we can get it put together and get into the shave. Like I said, this is a two-piece razor, uh, top cap and bottom. It kind of turns uh, like this, and like I said, it is a half DE, so you can either get these uh, Parker, or there's other brands, I think, um, half D half DE blades that are already kind of cut in half and you can use those or you can take a double edge blade like this and you can just simply fold it and then it just snaps in half I don't know if you heard it snap and then when you unwrap it you are left with two pieces in there so you can just put one of these pieces into the uh, single edge half DE razor. The ends are a little curled where you snap it, but once you clamp it into the razor, uh, not an issue. All right, so we'll just go, I think I'm just gonna go with the Nasset half DE because I've uh, got a few uses on that Parker blade in there and I'm not sure how many that is. So there's some notches on the front here where it will notch the blade into. So you simply place, not so simply when you're trying to show it on camera, but you will place the blade uh, on those notches there. And then you will just simply place the top cap on like so. Um, then you can kind of hold it in place and then you can screw it in and see it clamping down on the blade there and then just tighten it up and then you've got your blade in there and you are ready to go all right so i am trying a new camera apparatus i i basically just got a soap dish that has suckers on the back to go to the mirror and i'm placing the phone just on top of the soap dish it puts the phone farther away from me which I'm gonna have to decide whether I like that or not. The other holders I got were like car holders that had a suction cup in them, but they extended out from the mirror, uh, so uh, which puts the camera a little bit closer to me. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so I'm gonna wet the face, we'll get started. I am working on about a little over 24 hours of growth I shaved yesterday. Um, I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, it is not exactly early morning when I normally shave. I already got the kids off to school. Uh, I've got a random Tuesday off, which is kind of kind of serendipitous that I would have a Tuesday off serendipity, no pun intended. Uh, anyways, um, so got some things done this morning, some phone calls made, appointments made, uh, some work done, and then just trying to get my shave going. So the scent notes on the Serendipity, it's the first time I'm using this. The second time, our second um, TRC soap that I bought, again, uh, the maker of these soaps is currently a mystery, although uh, they do have my suspicions. They are made in the USA, uh, and um, there's not a ton of soap makers in the USA that are white labeling shave soaps, so you might be able to noodle that out. I could be wrong. Um, but it's nice and thick and creamy. The soap uh, on here, uh, there's the pour. There's where I took my little divot out, so I did scoop. Uh, it is 
somewhat soft. So a little bit of pressure uh, that I put on there, uh, but not too much. So it's not overly soft, but it is a little bit softer. Um, and so uh, really good value on these soaps. I think I got them on the Memorial Day sale. Uh, so they were 11% off, which is an odd number, but uh, they're like $16.99, I think, and you get uh, a good amount of soap. Uh, no, that's four ounces, so it's still a good amount of soap. I was thinking they were five or six ounces, but still a great deal. Um, I kind of, I got three or four of them. I picked this scent because it, the Canadian Mafia is doing uh, Aquatic Week, and this is an aquatic set. This particular set is based off of, uh, and I'm probably going to say this right, Millisemi Imperial from Creed. So it's sea salt and fruity, Sicilian lemon, bergamot, uh, iris, mandarin, orange, base notes, sea notes, musk, and woody notes. Uh, it's a very nice, clean scent. Uh, definitely get the aquatic there. Probably one of my favorite categories of soap scents would be aquatics. Uh, I seem to really like them. They um, sit well with me usually. Not too many aquatics that I've tried that I didn't like. Uh, there's a couple out there I've tried in the past, can't remember off the top of my head, that I didn't love. And usually that's typically when somebody's trying to do their own take on an aquatic and do something different. Um, so anyways, uh, scent strength on this is probably a four-ish out of ten. It's not super strong off the um, puck and not super strong lathered up on the face. So TRC has come out with a bunch of these private label soaps. I think all of them or most of them are dupes or inspired by scents from some sort of cologne. The other ones I ordered, I can't remember what the name of them, they have some odd names. Like, I don't know where they came up with the names for these. This one's pretty straightforward with serendipity, but some of them have some strange names that I'm not even sure how to pronounce. but they seem to come and go in stock. I think there's a couple that I saw that I don't see anymore. So I don't know if once they're out of stock, they just take them off. Maybe put them back later when they come back in stock. The first round of these came out a few months ago I think I did a video with one of the scents, the Serene, which is the lavender scent. Uh, that one's very nice. It's got these pretty cool square bottles. I did have some leakage on these ones, a couple of the bottles, nothing major, um, nothing that got out of the plastic that it was wrapped in, but there was definitely some uh, liquid in the, in the baggie. Um, but it didn't damage the label or anything. It wasn't that much, so no big deal. All right, let's wet the, wet the face and get in the second pass. Hopefully everybody's doing well. It's getting to be summertime here in Oregon. Uh, starting to get some nice weather, which is great. My kids are out of school on Friday this week. I can't believe that the school year is already gone and how quickly time passes. And it seems like just yesterday, they were starting school, so. Pretty crazy. All right, so uh, talk about the razor. Um, like I said, this is a half DE two piece razor. I didn't get the blade gap on it. I'll link it below. I think I got it from Super Safety Razors. 
is where I got it. Uh, you might be, I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. I have the other Parker one that's a single edge DE, the one that you can adjust. I can't remember what that one's called off the top of my head. That's a nice razor too. Uh, I think it's modeled off the old PAL razor, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is not stainless steel. I think it's some sort of uh, pot metal or Zamac that's uh, coated. And I didn't fully do my research. I don't remember how much it was. I want to say it was under 50 bucks, under 60, I'm pretty sure. So it's a relatively affordable razor. I don't get much blade feel from it. Uh, there's a tiny bit, but not a ton. I think this is only the second time I've shaved with it, so I really can't speak. To it as far as uh, whether it be a daily driver or not, I suspect with the low blade feel. I could probably use this razor as a daily driver. Like I said, I don't get a ton of blade feel, but there is a little bit there. Not, there's just enough to let you know the blade's there. And probably just enough to keep this from kind of being one of those razors that kind of whip around my face real quick. So I'm being a little bit more uh, diligent with my shave this morning. All right, let's go into pass three. So I can't really speak to the efficiency on it yet, either. I can't remember, I think it was fairly efficient. So glad it up really easily in the bowl. So, get some of my nose there. The angle on this razor is pretty straightforward. It's kind of kind of given to you by the shape of the razor, as far as the angle there. So the plane of the blade is pretty intuitive on the face. It's a pretty steep angle, I would say, on that razor coming down there um, on it. So it's kind of hard to miss the angle. Shaves, uh, shaves pretty nice though, I think. I think yesterday when I shaved, I only did a 2 pass shave. That's all I had time for. And I used my Mercure 34C. My hair growth is a little bit thicker. That's because I only did two passes with a more mild razor yesterday. Chin area is always a little bit more tedious for me to do. And, uh, we'll call it good on that.
mustache area. It gets under the nose pretty well. Doesn't have that tapered ends on it, squared off, but it's under there well enough. I think I've had a number of, a couple different versions of this of the Semi Imperial from Creed. I don't know, this. they say they're, um, on this scent they do their own take on it. I'm not really sure how it compares to the original. Oh, you can see that little gnat that just flew on the camera. All right, I'm gonna rinse the face. Overall, I think it was, I'd say it was fairly efficient. To get a few more shaves, get a final judgment on that. Um, but, I mean, there's still some, especially on this cheek, this particular side of my face is more dense hair growth than this side, which is kind of strange, but, um, so I feel a little stubble if I run my hand against the grain like that, but overall, I think pretty, fairly efficient. Let's say medium efficiency, how's that? All right. Which can probably be expected from such a mild razor. So you can see kind of a milky color uh, to the, to the liquid in there and we'll get it out. This is an alcohol-based splash. It does have a restrictor on there. Definitely get that sea saltiness to it. Um, nice kind of a neutral scent. I would say the scent strength on the splash is not particularly high either, probably four-ish. Uh, if I was going to give it a number, uh, I don't know how long it'll have a staying power on there. But anyways, overall, um, pretty nice shave. Again, Serendipity from the Razor Company. If you haven't tried any of their private label soaps, uh, I think they're worth a try. I think the soap quality is really good and the price point is very nice for what you get. And um, then the um, Parker Solo Edge uh, did a nice job. It's always uh, a different kind of razor to put in your den. So anyways, uh, overall, that's it. Thanks for tuning in today. If you made it that this far, congratulations. Uh, and uh, we'll see you soon on the channel. Thank you.